Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Weekend Showcase. I'm Sarah Wilson. Today we're going to be learning about home automation systems with Mark Ice of Audio Video Connections. Welcome, Mark. Thanks for having me. Mark, what I'd like to start out with is just kind of a general understanding of what home automation is and what systems you can control with home automation. I think what home automation is uh, simply is a, is a convenience, being able to take many of the aspects of the house, either it be your security system, your lighting system, your audio video system, uh, it may be you want to control your heating and cooling, um, all under one operating system. And you can do this remotely away from the house or within the home, and you can use it with a variety of devices nowadays, such as an iPhone, a Droid, an iPad. Uh, we provide also keypads, you can do it from a laptop, um, and even handheld devices that may come with the system. So I think most importantly is, um, I think a lot of people get scared about the home automation aspect, is that it, it is really about making um, everything come together under one system and making it as simple as possible. That's really interesting. I'm, I'm thinking as I'm sitting here listening to you of a, a kid coming home from school and being locked out of the house and the parents being able to unlock it remotely. Yes, that's exactly. That's something that could be easily done. Well, we'll hear more about some individual systems when we come back right after we take a look at some houses. Hello and welcome back to the Real Estate Weekend Showcase with Mark Ice of Audio Video Connections. Mark, let's talk a little bit about audio video systems because that's really where home automation started, isn't it? Well, that's what I feel it is, is because uh, TVs have become, are, you know, commonplace, they're a commodity, and now regardless of the income level, almost everyone has uh, a family room TV system and they're tied in where they're using multiple sources to come in. Flat panels have become, so have dropped so much in price that it's a commodity. So now um, using a cable box, using an Apple TV, a Roku, a Blu-ray player, you, uh, people are streaming from the internet, both video and audio. They want to have the capability of doing this with one simple remote as opposed to juggling a lot of different remotes. And I think that um, that's where automation has kind of emerged to where we can have one control operating system that controls many aspects of your house from anywhere in the house and even remotely if you're away from the home. And that could be your security system, your cameras, your lighting, your HVAC, heating, cooling. Um, if you want to lock doors, unlock doors. Um, so it's really about the convenience and, uh, and bringing it all under, you know, sort of one roof, if you will. Um, and it's becoming more, I think, commonplace and, and cost effective. So it's really taking that convenience of like the universal remote and expanding that to the whole house. Exactly. That's a, I, I think that's a, a really good way to put it. That's great. We are going to learn a little bit more about some other systems when we come back right after we take a look at some houses. Hello and welcome back to the Real Estate Weekend Showcase. We're joined today with Mark Ice of Audio Video Connections. Mark, what I'd like to talk about now is lighting because this is something that can really establish your home, set the mood, set a whole tone. What can home automation do for you with lighting? Sarah, I actually think lighting control is one of the form, uh, it's kind of a cornerstone to me of uh, automation because it makes some of the most sense is that we've seen huge strides and changes in lights, the actual individual lights, going from incandescent to compact fluorescence, halogens, LEDs now, LEDs being the predominant. Um, they're energy efficient. So what lighting control allows is a client can even take older technology, say an incandescent, and r really create that efficiency that, of an LED or a compact fluorescent because you can bring the light down to a level that you really is usable. Most of us, we walk into a room, we flip a switch, the light's on 100%. Under lighting control, you can come into a room, turn on a light, and the light's really working at, say, 40 or 50%, and you still have plenty of light to operate with. Mm -hmm. So that's really a, a wonderful part about the uh, lighting automation aspect, is being able to control it from one system, and also it really ties into security. Being able to come to a house, hit your garage door opener, and light the entire house in, then you're really never coming home to a, home to a dark house. I can see where that would give somebody a lot of comfort, particularly somebody coming home alone. Yes, definitely. When we come back, let's talk a little bit more about security, mm -hmm. right after we take a look at some houses. Hello, and welcome back to the Real Estate Weekend Showcase, where we are joined this week by Mark Ice of Audio Video Connections. Mark, let's finish up by talking a little bit about security, because I know that security is something that home automation has really focused on and has really added a lot of value to. 
Yeah, it has, Sarah. And I, you know, security is that um, one of those cornerstones of, uh, of, I think, a home automation because security has been around quite a while. Uh, many, many people in this country use it. It adds added value to the house um, and obviously just the safety factor. People see the, the real benefit of being able to leave the house, lock up, and then if something is, someone does break in, something happens, a fire breaks out, law enforcement or, or the uh, emergency um, uh, individuals are notified and so I think that uh, this is just another system in the house that we can latch over or control with one just one system you can have control if you stay with just your security system but if you're wanting to control other aspects of your house security can fall into the envelope of a control system mm -hmm. so instead of just being notified if there's an effect uh, and if there's some kind of incident in the house, you can turn on the lights, you can lock or unlock things, you m might have cameras. Exactly, yeah, and cameras are really important. I think they're a very important aspect to a security system because you can log in and see what's actually going on. That would be a huge benefit. Yes. Thank you so much. We've really enjoyed having you today. Thank you. And we'll be right back after we take a look at some more houses.